Reference geometry also plays an important role in an assembly. Select Reference Geometry Axes. When you are creating frames for vehicles such as robots or small cars, you want to create axes for wheels. An axis can be created between two planes, such as the top plane and the front plane. Once the axis is complete, you can then insert components. When a part is inserted into an assembly, it is called a component. You can browse for multiple components on your desktop or use 3D Content Central. Position the wheel in the assembly window. The wheel is the first component in the assembly and it is fixed by default. In order, in order to mate the wheel concentrically to the axes, I'll have to float the component. Right click on the component, click Float. Now select the cylindrical face of the wheel, hold the control key down, select the axes, click Mate. Coincident is selected by default, but you want concentric. Select concentric, click OK. Now the wheel moves concentrically about the axes. We need an additional mate to place the wheel. Let's select the right plane. When you select the right plane, you then want to select a plane of the wheel. Now normally, you would have created this wheel symmetric about a plane, but this wheel was created in one direction. So we're going to build a symmetric mate. By using a symmetric mate in the Advanced Mate section of SOLIDWORKS, you can select on two faces and a symmetry plane. Select the symmetry plane and now the wheel becomes symmetrical about the right plane of the assembly between its two flat faces. Let's see how the wheel rotates. I'll unsuppress a small cut in the wheel. And now I have the perfect physical behavior for the wheel in my assembly.